Hey coaches, welcome into the 2021 Middle School Air Raid webinar series. My name is Matt Lasker. I'll be your host throughout this webinar series. Um, we have been on a mission for the last year. A lot of you guys have been on it with me to help coaches run spread football at the youth, middle school, and now the high school level. We have so many great coaches out there that, you know, through no fault of their own, uh, did not grow up running spread. I didn't. I grew up in the wing tee. Um, but I got to a certain point in my coaching career where I saw all these great athletes on my fields and we had one or two players dominating the ball. Um, and, and I wanted to get all these kids involved and keep them excited about football. You know, we've seen so many terrible, terrible numbers across our great country, uh, with participation numbers in tackle football going down, uh, at the youth level middle school level, and now we even see freshman football teams not being able to field enough players. Uh, so I do believe running spread football, and air raid in particular, can capture the, the hearts and minds of these young men and women in youth and middle school, bringing them into the game, back to the game, so hopefully when they go on to high school, they want to be a part of it uh, as well. So really that is number one reason why I'm doing this webinar series is getting the particip participation numbers back up, building that pipeline so high schools can thrive across the country. Uh, and then number two is educating coaches because like I mentioned, a lot of us just don't know what we don't know. And so I took the time to research, uh, watch a ton of videos from Ron Mackey, Joe Salas, Shane Dular, uh, George Coulthrop. Um, all these guys out here are great teachers. I wanted a place where I can just hand it to you guys and say, hey, here it is. If you want to run Air Raid all in one place, all for free, go watch this series. I'm going to give you everything from A to Z um, that you'll need to run this, to run uh, to run Air Raid at your school, wherever it is, or whatever organization you run for. So whether it's, uh, you know, formations, the plays, the pass protections, the install, the practice plans, Anything you need, how to communicate, how to call plays during a game, everything you need is going to be in this series. So hang tight and we'll get to it. So real quick before we get in to why we chose the area and the philosophy behind it, real quick about myself. Um, currently the, the athletic director and varsity head coach, that's the eighth grade team for the Saramone Valley football. Saramone Valley Thunderbirds football and cheer. This organization has been around since 1958. It is a standalone organization in our area in Northern California, about 45 minutes outside of San Francisco East. Um, there, our, our tackle middle school and youth teams aren't attached to specific schools. Uh, we have organizations and we all play each other and it's been that way since well before I was born, okay? Uh, I've had some success at this level running air raid. I've, I've been to a turkey bowl running air raid and won a NorCal championship uh, doing so. Uh, I just this last week accepted a job to coach uh, the freshman football team at my alma mater in Danville. It's called Monta Vista High School. Go Mustangs. Excited about that. Um, this last spring during COVID, I had a chance to, to take varsity level players from Northern California to go play in this Southern California club league. Now the OC there. We ran air raid. We ran this exact same thing that I'm going to teach you guys that we ran in middle school. I took it with this, the best players in Northern California in a club in a club atmosphere, went down to Southern California. Our team went five and one. We had the highest rating, highest scoring offense in the Champions League. Uh, that is going to be on Netflix at some point. They recorded that whole league experience. So that should be pretty sweet. Uh, I own and operate a, a football skills academy out here in the Bay Area. And then you might have seen me over the last year on a few of these publications youth uh, youthfootballonline.com it was a middle school air raid uh, 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 article that kind of started me on this path chief pigskin i did an online clinic there for middle school air raid i'm on coach tube i was lucky enough to be on run the power podcast ron mackey's had me on um, joe salas has had me on shane dular has had me on so and i'm not saying all this to toot my own horn guys it's because of you because you guys have been consuming this this content and more importantly, we've been collaborating with each other on all these different platforms um, uh, that people are interested. Uh, we're, we're spreading the word and we're allowing other coaches that just didn't know how to do it to do it and hopefully convincing some that maybe 
or a little hard headed <laughs> to, to go ahead and try it. So again, guys, whistle.com without the I go there, make sure you do, um, make sure you do go there so you can continue your education on top of these videos and collaborate with us and we can talk about everything. Uh, right now, take a second, please go subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, just do it, please. So when the next video comes out, you don't have to wait on it. Hit that subscribe button, I'll wait. Okay, great. Now like this video. If you find this valuable, please just like this video real quick. I'll wait. <laughs> All right, great. And then lastly, um, just connect with me on, on any of these things, okay? So again, we're step one, appreciate you being here. You know, let's just get into it. We're about six minutes in um, and I wanna make sure I do not waste any of your time, okay? Air Raid philosophy, pretty simple guys, but let me take you through it because uh, I really wanna make sure I drive home a few points uh, because sometimes it's hard for me to understand why people just don't really grasp what, what's so great about this offense, okay? So number one, we wanna throw short as many times as possible to players who score. So really getting the ball out in space to our best athletes, and hopefully you have a few to choose from, uh, getting them the ball in space out on the edge against maybe lesser players, uh, that's the goal, right? And so we're gonna throw that short over and over and over, and then we're gonna throw deep to those same players once the defense adjusts. So we're gonna throw some sticks, we're gonna throw some screens, we're gonna throw some snags, we're gonna keep doing it. And then when they start creeping up, then we're gonna go deep uh, to those same players, okay? Uh, but it's very much a controlled passing game. We're, we don't fall in love with going deep the whole time. It's short, quick passes, and we are keeping the chains moving. Um, small playbook, that is staple with the air raid, okay? Uh, we definitely believe that we are gonna out execute people uh, I will challenge you in a video shortly to only have 12 plays. I had 11 last year. Um, 12, I'd say, would be the max. Uh, and we encourage each other as air raid coaches. If you take, if you add a play that you just love and you have to have, then you got to take something out. So the playbook needs to stay small. Uh, and with that, the formation set needs to stay small as well. Okay. Number three is it's all about practice. And that's obvious for every coach. But built into the air raid, organizing and optimizing practice time and practice plans is at the forefront of this. So I'm gonna give you practice plans from me. I'll show you other types of practice plans, but guys, we're gonna optimize practice. We're not gonna waste time with anything that doesn't have to do with our plays or our scheme, uh, offensively or defensively, okay? Uh, and we're just gonna get rid of any fluff. Uh, every air raid, team has certain drills, air raid drills, and they're ingrained in our core beliefs. So every part of these drills has something to do with something that we need to teach. So they are hearing within each of these everyday drills, everyday air raid drills, the same the same philosophy and the same concepts over and over and over. Uh, so it's all just works together. So by the by the time they hit the field, uh, they, they not only know what to run, but they really are understanding the whole philosophy behind the air raid. Uh, and on that point, guys, uh, you know, air raid was meant to be, it's more of a philosophy, let me say it that way, than it is a than it is a set of plays. There's a lot of plays and you can pick and choose and we're going to do that together in a few in a few videos. Uh, but it's more of a philosophy and these all these points kind of add up to what air raid is, okay? Um, so air raid teams attack the entire width of the field all 53.33 yards horizontally. And then in the middle school ranks, you know, I'd say 20 to 25 yards downfield. Uh, as you get in high school, obviously, we'll be able to expand on that. But if, if we can attack the whole width of the field and 20 to 25 yards downfield, mm -hmm. it's virtually impossible for a defense, especially at these lower levels, to really be able to, to stop uh, a consistently uh, spread football team, okay? And then the last thing I'll tell you is, you know, your definition of your mind of what balanced football, we need to kind of flip that on its head, you know, in the previous years and decades. And <laughs> we say, OK, run in the past. Is it 50 50? Are we balanced? OK, throw that out the window, guys. Let's think about it like this. If you have four receivers on the field and one running back and a quarterback, how many different positions are contributing? 
how many different positions and how many different players can get the ball and 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 threaten the defense. If it's all five, what the heck are you going to do? So I I will judge it from now on, and this is how Leach judges it, uh, Mike Leach, and we'll get into kind of who's who in the in the in the big uh, big names of air raid in a second here, but Leach Leach defines it as how many touches per position, right? So if I have spread out evenly five touches a game from all the different positions, who the heck is the defense going to key on? So, you know, I, I just, that is really how I look at it. When we break down our huddle data, how many positions are, are touching, how many touches are the different positions having in a game? And that's how we define success. Okay. Okay, cool. So as we wrap up a little bit about the history of air raid, it is not a new, a new fangled uh, fad. It's been around over 20 years. The, the person who put the air raid philosophy uh, together, and I say it like that because these plays, he didn't create the plays. He found certain plays. He did create some plays, and then he put it together in this air raid. Uh, so he spent time going and, and watching Lavelle L. Edwards at BYU and his staff uh, dismantle people and he started seeing plays that he loved and then he would go to their spring practices and summer practices and get to know them and start to kind of piece together what was so great about their about what they did and that's where you know this two back uh, set comes uh, green and blue and white cross they are legendary for running white cross and mesh and that's, that's kind of where those plays came from and then he'd go to bill walsh's practice out here in the bay area and, and see how the west coast offense was about quick passes, uh, quick five-yard passes to keep the chains moving. You know, we don't really do timing routes like the West Coast offense as much. Uh, we want the, the, our receivers to kind of settle in grass. You'll get to get to know that concept sitting in grass as we go through this. But the, the plays are very similar uh, when they're drawn up because they are short uh, flood, you know, concepts that are attacking certain parts of the field, attacking certain parts of the grass. Uh, and and they are very similar. We just we kind of go through the progressions a little bit different. But anyway, Mummy, how Mummy created this whole thing, um, put it together, and then started working. And one of his first hires um, is everyone's favorite coach, uh, Mike Leach. Now with um, with Mississippi State, he's running in the SEC. You know, we see uh, other guys like Lincoln Riley killing it with Oklahoma. He runs the ball maybe more than, than most air raid teams, but I love it. We run counter. Uh, just because your air raid doesn't mean you shouldn't run it. We still believe it. If, if, if they give you uh, the chance to run the ball every single play and they can't stop you, do that. Like We're not against taking whatever they give us, uh, but for, coming from this philosophy, uh, we just believe we can spread the ball around to get to what we want. Okay. Uh, so anyway, so that's kind of the, the core coaches. We've seen a lot of uh, in the recent past, uh, all these quarterbacks that have that have won Heisman's recently, Baker Mayfield, um, Mahomes, Kyler Murray, all ran air raid in college. Um, and now we're seeing it even seep into the pros with the Arizona Cardinals. Everyone runs a version of mesh. Everyone runs a version of cross. Everyone runs a version of stick. Everyone runs a version of corner. And I'm not saying that to be smart. I'm telling you in the in the pros, all the way through college, all the way down now to the youth football, as we've seen on, on my channel. Everyone can run these plays. It's just a matter of buying in and going all in uh, to, to make it a reality, okay? All right, so hopefully that was uh, informative. Uh, that was the first video. Appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. We got all the formalities out of the way, so let's move on. The next, the next video is going to be formations uh, and skill types. But in the meantime, please, please, please go to whistle.com. Whistle.com, just so you know, is the pulse of the online coaching community. We're going to go put all of our collaborative uh, plays together. Like I said, there's 18 mesh uh, mesh versions posted on that mesh group. There, there's 17 plus Y corner. So go there, collaborate. If you haven't, like this video, comment below, subscribe to my channel. And guys, we'll see you on the next ones for formations and skill types. And until then, please keep spreading the word, fellas. Let's keep making sure that other coaches know 
that they can run this spread. They don't have to only run the stuff that they grew up learning. All they have to do is watch a few videos, and you guys will have everything you need to run spread football. All right? Appreciate it, guys. We'll see you on the next one.